Hello, good day. So for today, I am going to discuss about the traditional game which is the pico or hopscotch. Pico or hopscotch is usually popular during 80s. It is usually played by girls and sometimes boys. It was originated in ancient Britain during the empire. It uses marker or charcoal or chalk. Bawal are rules in hopscotch. First, Pamato must not touch the line. Two, do not step inside the box where the pamato rests. Third, no stepping on the line. Fourth, no resting on both feet while picking up the pamato. Points of half scotch or pico. The players throw a marker such as a gun bag, stone, or other object into a pattern of squares and must then have to the shapes without touching the lines to retrieve the object. The benefits of playing hopscotch. First is for cognitive development. Second is for gross motor skills. Third is for hand-eye coordination. Fourth is for bilateral co coordination. Fifth is for mathematical skills. And sixth is for social skills. The mechanics and rules. The player takes turn in tossing his pomato inside the fifth rectangle. No stepping on the line. Do not walk while using both feet. Do not step on the box where the pamato rest. No resting on both feet while picking up the pamato. What are you waiting for? Let us play the pico or half scotch. When I was 7 years old, I remember almost all of my classmates are playing pico during lunchtime. While some of us are playing traditional games like Aguan, um, Sipa, and Bahai Kubo. Playing Pico or Hapscotch has its own benefits. First is for cognitive development. Second is cross motor skills. Third is hand-eye coordination. Fourth is for bilateral coordination. Fifth is for mathematical skills. And sixth is the social skills. If you don't want your baby soon, neighbors or cousins are wasting their time on the mobile game. So, what are we waiting for? Come on and let us play the traditional games to achieve those benefits. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.